It's pretty clear that the narrative being pushed right now by YouTubers, entrepreneurs, and any other online guru is to either not go to college or drop out of college. I couldn't believe in it less. In fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in learning. And the problem with most colleges is they are high school but with more binge drinking. I think that this is stupid. Well, actually, it really depends on the type of person you are. Because even if you're like me, who got a bachelor's degree that is now just collecting dust somewhere, I actually have no idea where I put it, I don't remember, I still think college can be the right choice for you. I'm still very happy that I chose to go to college and finish college, even if I'm now thousands of dollars in debt and I'm not using my degree at all. Honestly, I might never use it. So let's give you some background on my college experience so you can understand the logic behind my thinking that seems to have zero logic. It was junior year of high school and I had just found out that I didn't get into a single college that I wanted to go to, except for the really expensive out of state school. So I had the choice to either be in an incredible amount of debt and go to a school that I actually wanted to out of state or stay in state at a school that I didn't really want to go to, but I'd save a lot of money. And I decided to stay in state. And so my freshman year at the University at Albany started. Okay, wait, you're probably wondering what I majored in because that plays a huge factor in this. Well, in high school, I started to get really into programming and I was like teaching myself Java on the side through YouTube, as well as going after school to my physics teacher to learn game development. And so computer science seemed like the right route for me. It's what I really wanted to do back then. And of course, you know, it also pays well. So I started off as a computer science major. Now, this was the first time that I'd ever be living away from home. It was definitely scary to me, especially because at this point, I hadn't really developed the social skills that would make me comfortable being in a completely different city knowing absolutely nobody there. But it was exactly that reason that this year was one of the most transformative of my life and the first few reasons as to why I'm so happy that I went to college happened my freshman year. And it started off with my roommate. I didn't want to be assigned a completely random roommate when I moved in. So I went online and used some sort of like roommate finder app. I think it's called Room Surf these days. I I think I used something else back then. And that's when I got messaged by a kid named Tenzin. He was also very big into soccer. He occasionally liked partying like me, and he was going to school for computer science as well. Despite us arguing sometimes, he was a really good friend that I got to make because I went to college. And honestly, I miss that kid. Tenzin, if you're watching this right now, Let's link up. This experience of immediately living with someone that I did not know was such a great way for me to step outside of my comfort zone and help me develop my social skills further. Something that would not have been possible if I decided to stay at home for college or not go to college at all. So yeah, college had already helped me make new friends and step out of my comfort zone, but I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to be a part of a big group of friends that would go out every weekend. And so this is when I decided to go up to random people in the cafeteria to to make friends like I talked about in my social anxiety video. And I had also found out that there were people from Buffalo my age also going to Albany that I wasn't hanging out with when I was in Buffalo. I wasn't really sure how we linked up. I think we just like both kind of knew each other from Buffalo and were like, hey, we should start hanging out and create this group. And we had this group of guys and girls that would just go out every weekend. And it was amazing. It was super fun. It seemed like I was meeting new people every single weekend thanks to this experience. Going to college and constantly thrusting myself into a completely unknown environment environment destroyed my social anxiety. Like I still have some social anxiety now, but without college, I would not have nearly the same amount of social skills as I have now. And that's really the first reason that I was so happy that I went to college because I was just like such a quiet, silent, anxious kid before college. And I don't think that that would have developed in any other way through any other sort of thing in my life as much as college did. And then the second reason as to why I'm so happy that I went started happening. Somehow, and I honestly do not remember how this happened, I ended up double majoring in computer science and computer engineering halfway through my freshman year. And with that double major came a pretty big workload. Freshman year of college is when I really started to see my work ethic develop. I literally had to work hard. I was forced to work hard or I'd fail out of college and I wouldn't be able to be what I wanted to be at the time, which was a programmer. Having all of those deadlines and all the studying that I had to do was a massive proponent in why I work so hard today. And again, if I just decided not to go or drop out, I don't think that that same work ethic, that same hustle 
would have came out of me in some way. College is really where I developed my discipline. And before college, I didn't really have any sort of drive to do anything at all that would benefit me. Maybe that would have developed later down the line naturally, and I'd still be doing what I'm doing today. But I do think that ironically, college was what gave me the drive to become an entrepreneur. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And while I was really enjoying balancing working hard and partying, my friends that I went out with every single weekend decided to join a frat. I actually got a bid myself from that frat that they all joined, but I turned it down because I never really wanted to be in one. I didn't want to be a frat guy even though I had all the same characteristics as one. And so I started to see my friends less and less. I felt isolated. I really no longer liked living in Albany. I had my time there and I had a good time at that, but I felt like it was time to transfer back to my hometown and start going to the university at Buffalo. And this is where I finished my undergrad career. And even though it wasn't the best decision financially, I wanted to still stay in the dorms sophomore year, just so I could have that full college experience still. Again, I made some great friends through my suite mates and I created like a nice group to go to parties with and have fun with. But this is when I really started to struggle with what a lot of you are probably struggling with right now, which was contemplating whether I should stay in college or not. And it really started with with one single course, which was CS250 data structures. I started to lose my passion for computer science once I was enrolled in this course. But really what I think that was is I was just being lazy about learning something that was genuinely hard. The programming before that was a lot easier because I had already been teaching myself in high school and then I got to the real shit, what computer science is actually all about, data structures and algorithms, and I was like, what is going on here? One thing I will say though, is that I feel as if the college classes on computer science kind of took out the hunger that I had for that subject. I feel like if I had taught myself on my own and at my own pace that I would still be doing that today. I highly suggest that if you are going into this field or this might even apply to any other field that you keep that vigor, that passion for programming alive by also teaching yourself on the side like I was doing in high school. And to help with teaching yourself programming and data skills at your own pace, you can use the sponsor of today's video, which is DataCamp. DataCamp is an online platform that seeks to democratize data skills for everyone and to let you learn at your own pace. Also, after this video, if you're still not convinced that you want to go to college, DataCamp can be a great way for you to get the correct skills to learn data skills without getting the degree while still having professional knowledge on it. And you don't need any previous data skills to get started. The courses are for all different different skill levels from data fundamentals and data visualization to data science coding courses in Python, R, and SQL. I don't know much about Python, but I definitely do know the basics from my experience with computer science in the past. So I've been playing around with the intermediate Python course. It's been really cool. I don't know, maybe it will help me get back into programming a little bit like I've been contemplating for a while now. And DataCamp makes it really easy to learn because you can just do it straight from your browser. You can learn straight from your browser and doesn't require any software. There's 350 plus courses designed by top experts in the industry. It's all very professional. And there's actually a free assessment that you can take, which will give you personalized learning recommendations as well. This is really gonna be that thing, learning on your own and at your own pace to make you stand out above others in this field of having data skills and programming skills. And all first chapters of the data courses are free too. So if you want to check this out, if you want to check out DataCamp, go to the first link in my description and sign up today. By the time junior year had rolled around and I had started up my brand on YouTube and Instagram for a few months, I seriously contemplated dropping out. I really wanted to pursue this whole YouTube thing full time and I started to seriously grow a big distaste for pretty much all my classes. But that is when college taught me another extremely valuable lesson. To adapt to tough situations and evolve accordingly and not give up. And I didn't give up. Well, I, I, I did kind of give up. I gave up comp sci. I decided halfway through junior year, right before I was about to drop out, to instead switch my major from computer science to cognitive science. And I ended up minoring in computer science and I finished the rest of the two years and I got my degree. I don't think before college I'd done 
anything close to that much of pushing through and evolving through a hardship like I did. And I actually started really enjoying my classes after that. Cognitive science was something just great. And I finished getting my degree and I was so happy that I decided to stick through all of that. So knowing this story, knowing how college impacted me, I guess that really leaves the question, who is college for? When I reflect back on my college experience now, I realize that it wasn't so much the actual degree and the promise that gave me for my future that is what made college so valuable, but it was more so just how college helped me develop as a person. It taught me how to make friends with strangers, stay disciplined, structure a routine, and push through tough times to see the finish line. If you are going to college only for that piece of paper to get a job and you already have all of the these amazing skills that I developed in college, then, you know, maybe it's not in your best interest to go. But really what you're paying for when going to college is being in that environment of people who really want to improve themselves, who want to learn new skills. I think that that is such an invaluable place to be. And you guys know how much I've talked about how you are the five closest people that you surround yourself with. If you can find the right group in college and make the right connections, which is very possible in college if you decide decide to actually get out of your dorm room or to not party all the time, then something might awaken in you like it did for me. People trash on college so much nowadays because the degree is really not necessary to make a good amount of money. You don't need a degree. All you need is a phone and an internet connection, but they're not looking past the degree. They're not looking at what college also offers you. That also means that if you're not dorming and you're not like fully immersed in the college experience, then college probably isn't gonna be as valuable to you. And I know all of you have had to stay home for college this past year now, but I'm pretty sure that's changing, right? Like things are opening up and I'm also so sorry that you had to go through that shit. But that also leaves the question, can't you just learn the social skills, how to be disciplined, how to structure a routine and learn all the skills that you do learn with your education all for free online now? Absolutely, but most people need some sort of outside incentive for doing such a thing and that much of a money sink is a very good incentive. Okay, I don't wanna call it a money sink, that sounds negative. And also what college is gonna teach you is how to actually apply those real world skills. Like, you know, you could go on the internet, watch my videos, watch other people's videos on how to do all this shit, but at the end of the day, you gotta apply it and actually go out into the real world and use those skills and college forces you to do that. Also, my debt is not nearly as bad as most people's who go to college. Like I'm only $15,000 in debt. So I'd say that all of the things that I've talked about that make college worth it, it'd be a lot more worth it if you just decide to go to an in-state school or a public school. And at the end of the day, I have a degree. Even though I think I'm probably never gonna use it, it taught me a lot of things and also if all else fails in my life, then I mean, having a bachelor's degree, it would help me a little bit. Like, let's be real here. Big thank you to all the patrons on this channel on Patreon. This is where I'm putting out my exclusive content that can't be found anywhere else. If you wanna check that out as well, that's also in the description. And that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on college, your experience, or how this made you feel about college. I love you. stay in school. Hilarious that a YouTuber is telling you to do that. Actually, I don't know if you should stay in school. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys.